Brothers and sisters, how can each of us experience the power of understanding our divine identity? Moses learned of his divine heritage talking with the Lord face to face. Following that experience, Satan came tempting with subtle yet vicious intent to distort Moses' identity, saying, Moses, son of man, worship me. And Moses looked upon Satan and said, Who art thou? For behold, I am a son of God. This great war over divine identity rages fiercely as Satan's proliferating arsenal aims to destroy belief in and knowledge of our relationship with God. Thankfully, we have been blessed with clear vision and understanding of our true identity from the beginning. Coming to know these truths with certainty helps us overcome trials, troubles, and afflictions of every kind. As Jesus earnestly sought his Father in Gethsemane, so young Joseph Smith in 1820 prayerfully sought God in the sacred grove. After reading, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, Joseph retired to pray. I kneeled down, he wrote, and began to offer up the desires of my heart to God. I saw a pillar of light exactly over my head. I saw two personages whose brightness and glory defy all description standing above me in the air. One of them spake unto me, calling me by name, and said, pointing to the other, Joseph, this is my beloved son. Hear him. As we follow the examples of the Savior and the prophet Joseph in earnestly seeking God, we will come to understand in a very real way, as Jen did, that our Father knows us by name, that we are his children. When you feel hurt, lost, scared, upset, sad, hungry, or hopelessly abandoned in life's extremities, open the Book of Mormon, and you will come to know God will never desert us. He never has, and He never will. He cannot do it. It is not His character to do so. I invite each of us to open our hearts to the Holy Ghost, who beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Coming to know our Father changes everything, especially our hearts, as His gentle spirit confirms our true identity and great worth in His sight. God walks with us along the covenant path as we seek Him through prayerful pleadings, scriptural searchings, and obedient strivings. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.